What's good, y'all? It's your boy D in the building. Today we react to some Florida drill lyrics that really happened. Now, um, hey, the motherfuckers is really with it. And this motherfuckers is really not with it. These motherfuckers is supposed to be in it. All right, y'all get it, y'all get it. But um, I'm not really up to par on just really. I don't really like. I don't really like doing research on people. I, I don't know why. I just don't like. I don't know. I don't know. I need to though. Real shit. I do need to. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, and um, tell me why. I ain't gonna lie. I be tuning in to some reactors and shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, it be going crazy on the edits and shit, bro. Me personally, bro. Do I need to edit my video? Nah, nah, nah. No disrespect to any editors out there that does edit their videos. Salute to you. But like, do I need to edit my videos? Like my reaction videos? Y'all let me know. My boring nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments, nigga. But um, yo man, let's see what the fuck going on. Mothers of the victims are speaking out saying the videos and lyrics have gone too far giving specific details about the horrific crimes. Here's some Florida rappers that rap about real life situations. Ah, First, shit. We have ah, shit. I didn't even know Fulio was from Florida. I ain't even finna hold you. Kodak from Florida too? No Beach native Kodak Black. In one of his most recent songs, I Wish, he speaks on his former friends, Wiz the Wizard's death. He says, I hate that I fell out with Wiz. You did what you did, so I did what I did. Wiz and Kodak were seen together at shows, doing music videos, and just hanging out. Everything was good until the summer of 2021. Around this time, Kodak and Wiz started to go back and forth on Twitter, starting with the post from Wiz saying, I'll be the rap this ass. See? Okay. All right, all right. No, 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 no. Hold on. Some corny shit like this. Now I don't know if I don't know if Wiz passed away or anything like that. I don't, I don't know. But like a simple text like this can start a whole shit that can be prevented. Like, bro, it. I don't know, bro. I feel like. It's mo I, it's mostly black people that's killing each other, bro. Let's keep it a stack. If it ain't cops killing us, it's we killing each other. And and hold on, let me see. Okay. We just killing each other. You know what I'm saying? If it's not the cops killing us, we doing it to each other. And I feel like, bro, we need to stop this shit, bro. We need to come together, bro. This shit, I be the rap nigga ass. No, I wanna know why he made this. I wanna know. I wanna know why. Rap is following with another tweet saying all these good at is going on live capping get your ass in the field and get active ah hmm well i'm guessing is kodak went on live there's something some fake shit about him maybe some false shit about him maybe that's how this started a few hours later kodak made a tweet saying be acting like killers that should be killing me which is actually one of wiz's lyrics from the song that they have together righteous reapers wiz replied to the tweet laughing saying on god and although the messages exchanged between the two are very subliminal you could still tell that something was going on behind the scenes while all of this internet jabbing was going on kodak was beefing with two of his other close friends at the time as well where i'm spinning the bin and jack boy so at this point it's starting to seem like he might hey that nigga spit of his hey might be the problem on september 17th 2021 wiz's body was found in the neighborhood that he grew up in oh fuck holy fuck holy fuck bro hollandale beach florida <clears throat> according to investigators foul play was involved in his murder so it's hard to tell if it happened there or if his body was brought there afterwards and i'm not saying kodak had anything to do with wiz's death he just happened to say something about it in this song next we have wham spin the bam in wham's song paying for killings he said that kodak gave me bro i said spin a bands bro 30 gotta blow that in sacks hold on but that gave me 30 
finna sign for them M's. I ain't even tripping. You can get that back. By now, Kodak is notorious for messing up his deals with his artists. First, Jack Boy wanted out, then Wiz, now Wham. And it seems like now that these guys are trying to leave Kodak's wing and flourish on their own, he isn't too happy about it. Wham explains how Kodak only signed him for 30 grand, but now that he has some fame to his name, he wants more. And just like Kodak does with all his other rappers, he requested Wham to pay him back everything, which in this case would be $30,000. I still love the music, Kodak Wham. I mean, for a rapper, is it really that much? But I don't, I don't know people's situations though and Jack Boy makes, so I can't pick any sides in this drama. Let's just hope that they work everything out. Next, we have a rapper from Jacksonville, K-So. K-So is good friends with Young and Ace, one of Fulio's main ops. Despite all of these guys being from the same exact area, they still hate each other's guts. In K-So's song, K-So B, he says, Bibby had a closed casket. I ain't surprised. He is referring to Fulio's friend, Bibby. Around 3 p.m. on February 26, 2019, after reports of gunshots, Bibby was found dead in in the hilltop village apartments and i'm assuming the wounds were so bad that he had to have a closed casket queso was also arrested and charged with a murder later on that month fast forward three years later today queso is behind bars for two more murder charges and his own father is even testifying against him but more breaking news this afternoon wow. the father of jacksonville rapper queso <clears throat> will testify against his own son in a very high profile murder trial this next florida rapper is from jacksonville florida as well fulio fulio has built his fame off insanely disrespectful diss records one being his song list of dead op i ain't gonna lie i fuck with fulio fuck with this nigga hard Fuck with this hard, bro. I mean, the title really tells you everything you need to know. In this song, Fulio disses many of his deceased enemies. But the one that stood out really hard to me is when he said, Five got hit in the head. He tried to swim at the pool. In this part, particular line, Fulio is referring to James Thomas, more known around the hood as JT or Five. J oh, man. Oh, man. See? Some niggas out there don't give a fuck with where you at, who you with. If you they op, you they op. And hey, you talking that shit on the internet. When I see you, I'm going to do this, this, that to you. I don't give a fuck where you at. Bro, imagine in a pool, bro. I couldn't imagine, bro. Me just trying to, it's, it's 100 degrees outside. I'm trying to get a nice swim on with my shorty. Swimming at the pool. And then I get popped in my head, bro. I couldn't James imagine, was chilling bro. alongside the local community pool when he was slid on by the ops. It was even rumored that the dispute started on Facebook, eventually escalated to shootings, and ended with payback. It's all really a snowball effect in the streets. Some people get into an argument, someone gets shot, the person who gets shot wants payback, and it just turns into a never-ending war. But if you thought he was wild for this, it gets even worse. Another real-life situation Fulio described in this song is when he said Corbin got kidnapped, how the f grown man go missing corbin odell johnson was out looking for jobs with the help of his father if oh my god hold on i don't think y'all heard this correctly but this song is when he said Corbin got kidnapped. How the f a grown man go missing? Corbin Odell Johnson was out looking for jobs with the help of his father. Eventually, his father dropped him off at the Amazon warehouse where he'd never see his son again. The next morning, Corbin's father was trying to contact Corbin. Get a son? Oh, man. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't built to be no street nigga, bro. I think about shit like that. Like, I think about, like, people's moms, people's kids, their family. Like, how I, I couldn't. I couldn't, bro. Corbin, but he couldn't get an answer. After 48 hours passed, his father filed a missing persons report. It wasn't until an entire year later, Corbin's bones were found in a forest 12 miles from his home. It's reported that his murder was retaliation, but when his friends, Will Go Crazy, Act a Fool, and Leaky stole some drugs from the ops. The ops in question are Haitian OGs and Ken Knight members. After Will refused to pay back their debts, Corbin took it into his own hands to try and squash the beef. But when Corbin tried to pay them back, they forced Forced him into the car and killed him at an undisclosed location before taking him into the Damn. woods. They even bagged him up and covered him in tarp. So these guys were clearly experienced in what they do. Fulio continued to diss a lot of ops in this song, and this would be a 30 minute. Yo. Fuck, bro. I, bro. I couldn't imagine, bro.
Bro. I'm going to go pay off my debts. Right? Trying to give it to I'm trying to give it to whoever I owe it to. They fuck around, take the money, and they take me? Ah oh, shit, bro. Ah oh, fuck. In a video, if I went over all of them, just know that he gets really disrespectful. This next rapper makes catchy diss tracks, kind of like Fulio, so I'm assuming this is a pretty big trend. Hold on. on. Hold on, is this who I think it is? In Florida right now. Spin a bin. Yeah. In his song, I don't smoke Kendra. He says, Kendra got smoked by the police. I f with Jit. So I'm gonna leave him out of the wood and smoke. Wait, 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 wait. I'll put Pete. He was referring to two of his former ops, Kendra Austin and Antoine Williams, who goes by the name 35, Lil Petey, or Pete. Kendra was shot and killed by the police while fleeing a stolen vehicle. He was 16? Oh, fuck, bro. Kendra wasn't on his best behavior, you could say, because before stealing this car, he already had a record that included burglary, grand theft, resisting an officer without violence, and criminal mischief. After he stole the car, police blocked him in with their vehicles, but Kendra wasn't going out that easy. He rammed the stolen vehicle into the other cop cars and drove away before crashing into a dirt road not too far off from the police officers. Kendra and the passenger jumped out of the vehicle with guns in their hands, but the passenger dropped his and ran away in another direction. Kendra on the other hand never dropped his gun he ran in the opposite direction of the passenger and the officer fired two shots in his direction after he noticed he was still armed kendra then crouched down and faced towards the officer almost as if he was planning to shoot back that's when the officer fired two more shots hitting him he later died in the hospital but spinner benz knew and kind of respected kendra so he goes light on dissing him but on the other hand he shows no remorse for pete antoine williams or pete was an 18 year old football player that from what i've read had a great energy and big dreams antoine was killed on sunday may 3rd bro okay i understand some people out there because i ain't gonna hold you most stories i hear from football players they started from the i mean obviously they started from the bottom especially the black african americans started from the bottom they had to do what they had to do to get money at the same time while playing football or basketball or just trying to reach their goals in life. Bro, but we He probably was I, he probably was really good too, bro. Damn, he mixed it with the street life, bro. Ah oh, man. 2020 in a drive-by shooting he and three other guys were chilling together when a white sedan pulled up and sprayed the block down leaving antoine critically wounded and the other three well i don't know i don't know where this situation was he one of the types that was like the the chill one that didn't want to get involved and he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time or was he really was he in that street shit i'm confused let me out here chat i don't really know situational with none life-threatening injuries reports from the jacksonville sheriff's office even say that there were over 50 shots fired from automatic weapons antoine's coach spoke out and said that if this virus breakout wasn't going on antoine would have been in football practice and this situation probably wouldn't have happened saying that football would have started last week um would have had that first day last week would have had that interaction not saying that could have changed any results what i'm saying is that they would have had some place to be. But similar to Fulio, Spinner Benz names many ops in this song. Another one being Javante Robinson or Vante. In this line, he mentions him saying, Vante got pushed out the car, so he rolled easy. On June 25th, 2014, uh, Vante was found dead on the side of the road. Yo, these, these niggas is menaces, bro. Jesus. These niggas is menaces. Yo! Bro. Bro, it was alleged that he was involved in a drive-by shooting, and when he was shot, the other person in the vehicle pushed his unresponsive body out of the car. All right, bro, come on. Why, why, why had it? Why had it? Why you had to do the first mission on GTA? 
Like, come on, bro. You could have said that we would have got it, but you had to go ahead and take it this. Damn. Car while it was still moving, causing him to roll down the street for a short period of time. He also dissed Fulio in the very next line, saying, This nigga mama got shot, and he's still tweaking. This got shot. Car, I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't. Yo! His mama? Hold on. <laughs> Let me read this. This nigga mama got shot and he's still tweaking. Wait, this this the Fulio. Oh shit. This nigga bitch got shot. Well, I knew she's still leaving. They shot they shot that that whole finger off and couldn't even tweet it. Oh that's disrespectful. He talking about his mama? He talking about his girl? Wait, 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 wait. His mama got shot. His shorty got shot. They shot her finger off. And nigga says she couldn't because you know I ain't even gonna get it. I ain't even gonna get it too much that bro. Didn't even tweet it. Fulio's mother was shot in her house and his girlfriend was shot multiple times while sitting in her car. She was hit in multiple places, one bullet grazing her head. She even talked about it briefly on her YouTube. And if you like this video, check this one out too. Look, bro. Listen, bro. If you watching my video, you in that street shit, bro, please stop, bro. I know I'm probably not even the type of nigga that give it. That you probably like, why the fuck is this nigga even giving me motivation? Bro, just stop, bro. Like, bro, just just, just look, around, look at the world, bro. This shit ain't gonna get you nowhere but dead or in jail, bro. Let's just, let's just stop this shit, bro. Damn, bro. I mean, I don't really want to say too much. Cause I'm end up saying the wrong thing. But hey, man, look, I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. You a young nigga thinking about getting in the streets, bro? Look at the fucking world, bro. It's not gonna get you nowhere, but either in dead or in jail, bro. Just stop that shit, bro. Real shit. But um, yeah, man. Sub up to the channel if you uh. If you already haven't, if you guys like gaming videos, go look in the description, click the first link and enjoy yourself. But hey man, wrote the 10K and we out, man. Peace.